One. We're back. Hello. Hello. Hi. So, so I, I just I just failed at disemboweling someone in the parking lot. Um, yeah. Watch, watch that happen. Hey, your shoulder's a little dangly. That's yeah, it's not it's awkward. So great. I can fix it. I'm good at stitching these days. Uh, but yeah, Robin, you saw like Morgan and Steve of all people like fighting, and then Morgan scooped up bags of meat? Question mark. And it was all very strange. What do you do? Um, yeah, like, uh, I'm supposed to clock in, but so is Steve. So, like, I haven't actually gone to the coffee shop yet, so I think I'm going to go, like, across the street and be like, Steve, are, are you okay? What what happened? Morgan, how did you hurt Steve? Like, what harm did you do? Uh, I imagine, like, I was trying to sort of, like, push him and, like, like, cover his face, you know, so that he couldn't, like, yell. So he's probably got, like, a bloody nose where I, like, accidentally clocked him on the face. Gotcha. My arm over. So something. he's like holding his face and he's like, Oh, the Morgan is such a crazy bitch. She punched me in the face. Oh my gosh. That's like, are you okay? I mean, and he like, I mean, he looks at you and then he's like, I mean, I'm all right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not like dying or anything. She's just really weird. Fuck. Yeah, she is kind of weird. We should um. We should we should clock in. I, I don't I don't want to be late. There's um, there's like a party or something tonight. Oh yeah, at, at like Evan's house. Yeah, right. Like everybody's gonna be there, I guess. Yeah. Should we put the um? Sorry to interrupt. Should we put the game stuff up on the stream? Oh, yeah, I can. Bink. Boop, beep. I, I mean, I... I was thinking about going, but I, I don't know where it is. Like, I've never been to a party at Evan's house before, and I, I, know, I know you went to that one. Over the yeah. Summer. It's kind of a shit show, but uh, Evan, he lives on the... I mean, he, you know where the big house is? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Oh. Figures, right? Of, I guess so. <laughs> I can't believe she punched me in the face. What the fuck is wrong with her? Do you need, like, some ice or something? I mean, I, I would put a steak on it, but she fucking bought them all. <laughs> what was up with that? I don't know. Like, what is... It's, oh, I know what it is. She's going to do that Lady Gaga thing and wear a meat dress to the party. Watch. <laughs> That's really saying Such a something. fucking weirdo. It's gross. It's unsanitary. As long as she doesn't eat them afterwards, it's probably fine. I wouldn't put it past her. It's <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I feel like this is like. I imagine food. that's like I imagine this like fucking weirdo is like cute to like me sitting sitting in an alleyway like through like a like, block away housing just, like, all of the steaks. Eating raw steak, yeah, because I couldn't make it all the way home. Like cookie monstering that shit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like fucking juices like down my face. And, like, <laughs> it was like all this plastic wrap and cellophane and like styrofoam <laughs> flung everywhere. You're just like ripping them open and devouring chunks of meat. That's what I'm doing. I'm sitting in an alleyway somewhere, like behind a dumpster, consuming pounds of steak. So we get like a smash the cut. Hunger. Smash cut to Morgan, like inhaling just gobs of steak. <laughs> and then we cut back to Robin's like adorably confused face. <laughs> and like, this is like, like, following us across the parking lot and like yeah. into the coffee shop and like putting on our aprons and that whole thing, you know, like if I, um, if I, if Steve, if, if I went, uh, what, what, what kind of costume should I do? I, I don't have a lot of time between when we get off work and when we're supposed to be at the party. And he's like got his head tipped back with like a wad of like coffee shop napkins on his face. He's mm -hmm. like, uh, I mean, there's all those, like, Halloween pop-up shops. Can't you just, like, go in there and get something? 
That's gonna be like a week's salary. Uh -huh. I don't know, like, what do you want to be? Like, should you, like, get, like, I don't, I don't fucking dress up, like, I don't know. Like, can't you be, like, oh, easy, you could be a barista. Duh. That's not very scary, Steve. Uh, Robin, I don't know how to tell you this, but you couldn't be scary if you tried. But... <laughs> <laughs> You're probably the least scary person I know. Oh, well, then... Barista seems like such a cop-out, though. Like, I was thinking something cool and sexy like a vampire, except those aren't cool anymore. You gotta help me out, Steve. Ah, uh, cool and sexy. I don't know, like, Catwoman? Is that... Catwoman, she's pretty hot. <laughs> Steve. Is that, um, like, what, like, cat ears? Yeah, like, like the Holly Berry one, not the, not Sharon Stone. That's just crazy. You want, like, the cute one, right? <laughs> oh, oh, that Catwoman. I, I thought that you meant, like, a cat girl. <laughs> I... <laughs> I can't handle Stephanie. <laughs> I'm not looking. All right. You can't hear me though, can you? No, but I can see you oh, like okay. losing your I'm shit. Up. <laughs> I realize I'm depriving people of my ridiculous laugh. <laughs> I'm eating a lot of fucking candy over here, and I don't really want to hear you all or have you guys hear me too. <laughs> um. Um. I saw that movie, like, on uh, on Netflix. It her costume seems like it'd be a lot of work. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I don't know. Uh, okay, so we need something easy, right. but that that's sexy, and it's you. So, hmm. He, like, stops to think about it for, like, an awkwardly long period of time. What do you do? Um. Yeah, I think, like, she gets a little bit flustered. She's like, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be sexy, but that's, like, kind of the default after, after scary, right? Um. Hey, hey, you wear a lot of dresses, right? Sure, yeah. I mean, most of the time. Couldn't you just, like, I don't know, like, like take the, what is the bottom part called? And he looks at you. A skirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make that shorter. And then you're, like, a Bond girl or something. That's the thing, right? That's, um, I guess that's a thing. Look, I don't know all this girl shit, Robin. I'm sorry. I, I thought <laughs> I thought you knew about parties. Man, I should have ate him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was all this trouble. <laughs> like if you had like a party dress, you could just put that on and it's fine. Is is that is that fine? Yeah, uh, you just like get like a, some ears or something, and you're like whatever, cat girl in a party dress. Okay, I guess I can do that. He shrugs shoulder. I'm just going as me. I'm glad that you're putting in a lot of effort there. He like squints at you, and you get like the the me the meme where it's like all the math pops up. <laughs> like, like he's not sure like how severely he's been burned there. And while he's thinking about it, the doorbell rings, and Troy Troy wanders in. And he uh, comes up to the counter. And then, uh, I, I like, she wants Steve to take his order, but, like, he's still, like, like got literal blood coming out of his nose. Yeah. And she's like, I guess I just gotta work. And uh, she goes out in front. She's like, can, um, can I help you try? He uh, looks down from the menu at you, and he's like, oh, uh, hey, uh, Robin, right? 
Yeah, that's what it says on my name. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, it's right there. Uh, can right. I, can I just have a uh, just? I don't understand all this shit. Can I just have regular ass coffee? I just need to stay awake for the party. Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. I, it's, well, it is there on the menu. It's, okay, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll get it for you here. Just one second. And like she'll she'll go and, and make him some it's like the, the little hot pot in the back. Are you at all flustered by his presence or are you just totally over it? Um she's a little bit flustered, but like she's yeah, I think she's kind of flustered. Like she wants to she's like I wanna I wanna she wants to tell him like the proper term for the the coffee that he's ordering and be like did you want this blend or that blend? And then she's like, no, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it for you. Don't worry about it. So when you come back, he, uh, he hands over some money and he's like, uh, so I saw you talking to Cassia. Um, are you like friends with her? <laughs> I wish. Oh, I was hoping you'd be able to talk to her for me. I did talk to her a little bit. Um, I think she's going to that party. Yeah, I was I was hoping I'd I'd be able to, you know, take her out on it. Well, I was hoping that maybe we could Yeah, she's I think she's going. Right. Uh, I, I I was thinking about going too. Oh, uh yeah, that's cool. Um but uh Cassia, do you know like what she like, I know she plays the violin, but I don't really know anything about that. Like, I, I don't know what to talk to her about. Um, she aced all of our history tests? I don't know. Yeah. She's so- I don't want to talk to her about history. Come on, Robin. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, well, she was reading this book, but I, I didn't... I don't think it was in English. Oh, man, she's smart. What? Huh. Are you at all threatened by his, like, obvious interest in your one true love? Yeah, a little bit. I think she's, like, kind of hedging. Like, she's, like, she's, like, taking all of his questions as, like, wait, I know these things, but I can't tell him that I know them because I didn't think of how to use them until just now. Okay, so yeah. he's he like sips his coffee and like kind of makes a face like he doesn't really want to be drinking coffee, but he needs to wake up. And he's like, she's you know she's just like really mysterious, and I don't know like I know right. I mean, I guess it's kind of cliche to be like so interested in the new girl, huh? Huh, I know right. So, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll... Maybe Avery knows something. I'll talk to her. She seems to just know things about people. Thanks anyway, Robin. Uh, bad boy, I try. He, like, he, he takes his coffee and he leaves. And as soon as he leaves, like, uh, Steve snorts. And then he's like, ow, ow, ow. And then he goes back to laughing. I think I did well. Oh, you are so gone over that guy. Robin, please. Yeah, right, over the guy. You sure you don't... Maybe you should be in the in the back with all that blood. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Well, you know, good luck with the front. I guess I'll just wait for my injury to stop bleeding everywhere after that crazy bitch punched me in the face and he just like goes in the back muttering to himself just, just you can stack things oh <laughs> so we cut we cut over to the almost harmonious noise of a high school orchestra um, where you guys are practicing for Probably the upcoming holiday recital. 
you know, Christmas songs and such. And like Vivica, Vivica is sitting right behind you and slightly, slightly to the side as you do when you're in the second chair. And she's like got her posture oh so perfect. And she's like playing very elegantly, but someone with centuries of experience <laughs> in violin. It's like just don't even don't even try anymore. It's, you're you're just you're playing your violin and you're th- you're like, oh honey. <laughs> Yeah, just outplay the professionals. <laughs> I mean, for playing it for three hundred years is just it's old hat by now. And she's she's adding these unnecessary flourishes that are quote unquote displaying her skill, but don't fit at all with what the rest of the orchestra is doing. So it sounds like a hot ass mess. What do you? <laughs> <laughs> and like your refined ear for music, it gets really grating on you. Yikes! I'm like side eyeing her a, a little. Like, really? Are you, you doing that right now? And she like shoots her a look like, yes, I know how good I am at violin, and keeps doing it. <laughs> I know I should be first chair. <laughs> and like the the orchestra teacher is like wincing a little bit every time she does it, but uh, he's not correcting it. In fact, the orchestra teacher has been a little delicate around Vivica ever since he moved her to the second chair. It seems like he doesn't want to hurt her feelings any further. Yeah. Did she go on a, did she go on a rampage? What do you mean? Like, like when, when uh, she was dethroned? Oh, yeah. She threw <laughs> the biggest fucking fit. Like, the tryouts for orchestra were a matter of, like, routine for her. And she always got first chair. And then one year she was, like, second. They put me in second chair? Like, in, like, a fucking regular ass chair? Do they know who I am? But, yeah, she threw a fit. So the orchestra teacher is, like, trying to avoid interacting. Like, he's basically checked out. You apparently have uh, Twitter open instead of... Oh, I didn't know uh, they could see that. <laughs> Oops, thanks, team. Um, Sorry to interrupt. I thought that was important. <laughs> yeah, no, that's important. I didn't realize that that happened that way. So let's just make this its own window so that it doesn't happen again. Hopefully that doesn't. Let me check my OBS. <clears throat> nope, that fucked everything up. Yay! <laughs> oh. Okay, it's fixed now. I just have to... I can't touch it. I can't mess with the internet at all. Yeah. Got it. Thanks, team. I'm learning. Um, so the orchestra teacher is just checked out on the whole Vivica situation and will not corral her behavior at all. Uh, but she is... She's definitely fucking up the music. What do you do? <laughs> um, I mean, my whole thing is trying to not stand out and not draw a a whole bunch of attention to myself because I'm, you know, I already seem to draw a lot of attention because I have a weird accent and because, you know, I, I excel simply because I've been alive for 300 years and like, you know, can do all this stuff simply by virtue of being way older. And um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna say anything to her. It's like, I don't have anything to prove to her. I'm already first chair. Okay. Um... How about we have you hold steady to not just, like, snap at her? Okay. Uh, As this, like, we... terrible, terrible violin shit is just... <laughs> what do I do to hold steady? Uh, roll plus cold. Okay. <sighs> So no other modifiers. Mm-mm. Ooh. So on a 10 plus, you keep your cool and choose one. Ask the MC a question about the situation. Remove a condition or carry one forward during this scene. What does carry one forward mean? That means you get to add uh, plus one to your next roll in this scene. Ooh, I'll do that one. Okay. So even though, like, this fucking amateur hour nonsense is happening behind you, you're able to, like, get through green sleeves 
with your usual grace. After after they're done, uh, the orchestra teacher is like, uh, "Good job, everyone. Good job, um, uh, Cassia. Really nice as always uh, with the solo. Uh, Vivica, you did well too. You did well too. Uh, yeah." Um, so everybody, uh, take five, uh, and then we're going to, uh, rehearse Jingle Bells. Yeah. And everybody, there's like this rustling noise as everybody kind of shifts in their seats and starts talking to each other. And Vivica leans forward and she's like, uh, your solo wasn't that good. The teacher's just being nice. I just want you to know. <laughs> It's important oh, wait, we have, okay, like, realistic... Share. What'd you say? Okay, second chair. She glares at you. He just gave that to you because you're new and you're weird and he was feeling bad. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if... If you want to, uh, like, audition again together for first chair, I'd be okay with that. I mean, if, if, you, want, if you think it's not fair, then we should do something about it. Okay, yeah, 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 let's fucking do it. Let's fucking okay. do it. <laughs> Mr. Ogilvy, we're gonna re audition like right the fuck now. Cassia Cassia wants to do the chair thing over again, so like let's do it right fucking now. And Mr. Ogilvy is like, uh, well, technically, we, uh, oh. Like, no, it's it's fine. We think we should do it. If she deserve if she deserves to be first chair, then she should be first chair. Oh. Oh, all right. Dueling violins. <laughs> so Vivica um Vivica stands up. She's like, Let me let me spare you. I'll go first. And then if you don't want to follow through on it, it's totally fine. Like I I won't be mad. And she gets her violin and starts sawing away at it. And it's <laughs> absolutely terrible. But like she's, worse than second chair. Like she should not even be second chair. <laughs> yeah. Like she's like trying to improvise, but like doesn't have any concept of like what actually sounds good beyond notes on the page. So it's just like this random, like dissonant nonsense. But she's playing so hard that one of her strings snaps and lashes across her face. And she drops right. the violin and the bow and like holds her hands to her face and like you see blood start to seep out for where she's cut her face. And I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? And like, of course, internally I'm like, oh, <laughs> like there's blood. Just keep keep your cool. Try to act normal. <laughs> yeah, hold steady for me. Let's see if you can. Okay, so do I add a one modifier for this? You do add a plus one. And it's cold? Yes. Indeed. So on a seven to nine, you choose. You can either keep your cool or you can pick one from the ten and up list, but also gain the condition terrified. What does terrified do? That just means that you're you're scared. Like you're scared of your own like hunger in this situation. And you're scared about what you might do if you stay in this situation. Okay, what was the first option again? You can just keep your cool. Okay, I think I, yeah, I, I have to. Yeah. There's not enough blood that I'm going to freak out. Like, if, if someone, like, lost a finger, then it'd be yes. all over. But a little we cut on the face. We haven't got that far yet. Did someone say something about losing fingers? <laughs> you called? Morgan comes in the room with, like, steak on her face. <laughs> Steak. And Mr. Ogilby rushes forward and he's like, oh, oh, Vivica, are you okay? And she like bats him away. She's like, I'm fine. It's just a little cut. She like pulls her hand away and there's like, there's like, it's a pretty like big laceration. 
and it's like her face it's not like cut through her face like you can't see the inside of her mouth but there's a pretty big there's a pretty big laceration and and face wounds tend to bleed a lot so she's just like bleeding it all over her like blouse and shit she's like well ow oh my costume is ruined I'm struggling because my my like try to be a normal human and don't draw attention to yourself says you should help her, but the vampire is like, no, do not get close to that. <laughs> like you you can't risk like getting too close to this like profusely bleeding wound. On the other hand, Mr. Ogilvy is like, uh, Cassia, Cassia, could you could you take her to the school nurse? I'm so sorry. But I really need to stay in the classroom, and and you know, you know, Jingle Bells. So could you, would you mind? Yeah, of, of course. Yeah, I'll t- I'll take her. Thank you. And uh, I'm assuming there's like a first aid kit in the orchestra room. Um, probably, but uh, he wants her to go to the school nurse. She might. Yeah, need, like... I was just thinking, like, get some of the gauze and just. Be, oh like, yeah. Put it yeah. on there so I can't like see it. She like right. gives you a sullen look but follows you out of the room. Okay, so I, I'm walking like really fast, like suspiciously fast to get to the nurse's office. She is not she like the clack, 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 clack. Like she's walking like irritatingly slow. I'm assuming she like she's probably in a lot of pain and uh, Yeah. Like she's kind of she's kind of stumbling, stumbling a bit, and like holding her face. Uh, and I I contemplate just using like my vampire strength to just like pick her up and take her because this is like extremely stressful for me at this point. That that also be weird. Like that's not something a normal person would do. <laughs> so what? Uh, what <laughs> I don't know. How about how about you hold steady? Let's see, hold again. steady again for me. See All if you right. can deal with your increasing frustration and hunger. Uh, and she our, just continues to bleed all over the place. Our ghostly friend passed out a while ago, so they're probably at the nurse's office. Oh right? yeah. Oh, you're reading my plan. Uh, yeah. So again, uh, you can keep your cool, or you can pick an option from the ten and up list, but also gain the condition terrified. Uh, I'll pick an option from the 10 and plus. Okay, we've got ask the MC a question about the situation. Remove a condition, carry one forward. Hmm. I think of a good question. Uh, are there a lot of people around? Like, is the is the hallway busy? No, not at all. Okay, I'm going to carry her then, because I, like, it's a bit too much at this point. <laughs> so you like lunge at her and scoop her up and she's like, oh, what? Oh my, <laughs> stop it. Ew. <laughs> Mr. Olobi. I'm just like, they're like down super the speeding down the hall <laughs> and she's like screaming at the top of her lungs. Um, Avira, you come to as this racket screeching approaches you and you're not quite sure where you are but you can hear like this high-pitched noise and like footsteps pounding down the hall towards you um i absolutely awaken with the feeling of you know panic and anxiety uh in my stomach because like you said i don't know where i am um However, I have been in this nurse's office before because this is not the first time that I have passed out in the last year. (laughs) Only in the last year. What's the nurse's name? The nurse's name is, uh, she has a last name, but we call her Miss Candy. Miss Candy. Like as a nice, like, she's just sweet. Mm -hmm. I think that's her, maybe her first name, you know. Because she's not a teacher, so we don't have to call her by her last name. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, you know, there's water next to me, which normally would help. doesn't really matter for me, but it's something. So I instinctively, you know, drink that and 
sit up and just kind of look around and try to figure out what's going on, see if there's anybody to offer. And Miss Candy looks up from her desk and she says, oh, you're awake. Lovely. I think I'm going to need that bed pretty soon. And the door bursts open. And I jump up as quickly as they burst in and get out of the way because I basically give her the look of, like, I'm cool. Yeah, you yeah. see you see the odd sight of Cassia, like, fucking hauling ass with Vivica in her arms. I basically just get out of the way and try to get the nurse to give me the, the nod that she's cool to, like, let me go. I, I'm, I'm going to need to check your vitals and make sure you're really okay. But, uh, ladies, what's what's the emergency here? It seems like something's wrong. <laughs> she's She's got a cut on her cheek. Here you go. And then I, I, I tell it out of there. Um, could you... <laughs> could you roll me a runaway? Oh, to I get that? to get out of the situation, <laughs> roll with volatile. Okay. Because Nurse can't or Miss Candy has some questions about the situation. <laughs> oh. She's not gonna let you just piece the fuck out, given a choice. <laughs> like, hi, I broke this human. Okay, bye. Uh, six. Go. <laughs> Wait, did you have one to carry over at some point? I see. Oh, well, really... I already used that one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So she uh, she steps in front of your way. And she's like, "Not so fast, Miss Cassia. What happened here?" Well, we were you know, in orchestra. We were we were like we were playing violin, and her violin string it stepped. So uh, you know, it cut her cheek, and now she's here. So can I just can I just head out, go back to class? She cut me, Vivica says <laughs> from behind you. She sliced my not. face. She's a psycho, Miss Candy. You know, our orchestra teacher saw it. All the kids in orchestra saw it. They can say, like, it was her violin string. I didn't do shit. You sabotaged my violin. I know you did. <laughs> and Miss Candy is, like, looking back and forth. It's, it's like, I can't, cause I can't prove that I didn't, but she can't prove that I did. So I'm just like, ah, what? <laughs> All hands. Yeah, I'm just like, like it's not that it's still in this room. <laughs> Do you want to convince Miss Candy that you're I can I hypnotize her so I can leave? Yes. Can yes I? you can. <laughs> Good call. Okay. So... Give her the old vampire bedazzling. So, do I have to roll for this? Okay. Uh, let me double check what it says. Roll with, roll with hot. It's hot, yeah. Hypnotize people that have no strings on you. I'm assuming an NPC does not have. Yeah, Nurse Candy does not have strings. Okay, so I will roll with hot. Nurse Candy is a really unfortunate name for a high school nurse. I know, right? <laughs> right. It was a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like my name? I'm surrounded by candy and I'm not creative today. <laughs> it's beautiful. Don't worry about it. I feel judged. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I have too many windows open. So, so Miss Candy, um, like you try, you try to go in to like hypnotize her, but something is off about her like she doesn't she doesn't react in the way that humans normally do um and like in like when you get in her mind you just hear this like song playing over and over and she like tilts her head and she says why are you staring at me no reason you know i just i lovely shade of lipstick you're wearing today i just you know i came how here. about you go have a seat over there Okay. <laughs> she turns to to Vivica and like pulls out her like I don't know like alcohol swabs or like whatever the fuck you do when somebody's cut their face. I'm not a doctor. Um, <laughs> Disclaimer: not a doctor. Not a doctor. Don't try this at home. Um, but yeah, she starts uh, tending to Vivica's face and she's like humming under her breath as she does it. The same song that you heard in her mind. 
What do you? What did the two of you do? Oh, me and yeah, this person in authority is is has said you cannot leave. What do you do? Um, uh, I sit in the chair. I've been here before. This happens to me. I know that she just wants to make sure I'm fine, and so I just have to wait for her to do. I was just trying to hope. I was banking on that maybe the repeat offender would get the. I'm fine every time I do this. Can I please just get the fuck out of here? You know, I'm the kid with the health problems all the time. We know. We know. I'm cool. Can I just go? So I wait. And Cassia, you're trapped in a, what is a, quite a small room with the smell of this blood. And Avira just sitting next to you, like, completely blasé about the situation. We don't know about each other, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so I'm... Assuming that I'm just like sweating and like just like not okay with what's happening. But as much as I want to, you know, be like, I am I am the power and the fury and I will not be told to sit down. Like I have to act like I'm an eighteen year old and so it's it's definitely a struggle, but I don't want to just storm out of the room and be like, so yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, fuck this, fuck Vivica, I'm leaving. None of that. So at length she uh she stands up and like Vivica has like this proper bandage on her face and she turns to the two of you and she's like, Oh, um, Avira, let me let me just take a look at you and make sure that you're really okay. These uh dizzy spells of yours. Hmm. How odd. She like gets her like pen light and like does the pupil thing with you. And you, you've always gotten the sense from her that she finds you, like, oddly fascinating. Like, you always kind of feel like you're under a microscope around her. I think with her, because she is a health professional, I don't care so much that she does this. Because it's I'm used to it at school. It's teachers, there's pe- you know, positions of authority. I trust her enough to mm-hmm. not care. Because when I'm in these spaces with these, you know, teachers that are not the traditional school setting, it's it's safer, right? So I don't really care. I'm just kind of waiting for her to get done with what she's doing so that I can go. Because I'm, I'm happy to just, you know. Yeah. Okay. And she, cool. uh, she like, she looks in your eyes and she's like, um, could you flex your hands for me? I just want to make sure your extremities are working okay. Fascinating. Fascinating. Okay, you seem to be fine. Thank you. And I, like, grab all my stuff and head down and scuttle out as quickly as I can. And she turns to you, Cassia, and smiles. And you realize that she hasn't blinked in, like, an awkwardly long amount of time. And she just kind of looks at you and she's like, you seem... Well, you're new here, but you seem a little... um." Unusual. Where are you from? This is me. Yes. Oh, uh, you know, I I moved here from England. Uh, you know, recent recently, and mm. yeah, so that that's um that explains the weird accent. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just English. That's all. I'm not weird, I'm English. Oh, honey, you are not just anything. <laughs> now, tell me true. Did you cut her face? No. Do you think I would cut her face in front of an entire classroom of people? I've seen stranger things in this high school, <laughs> believe me. Her violin string snapped and cut her face. And she has a vendetta against me, and that's why she's saying it was me. Oh, but you're so sweet. Why would she have a vendetta? You know, orchestra, drama, you know, it's it's just this just this thing. But if 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 you want confirmation that it wasn't me, you're free to talk to Mr. Ogilvy. Mm. But I'd love to get back to practice if that's okay. Of course. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, thank you. Mm. You run along now. I bolt, just like gone. 
you tear out of the room. <laughs> Slam door. So, Morrigan, you have eaten quite a bit of steak. Do you have any other preparations well, before have. the party? Well, I gotta fix my arm. Um, so, stitching myself back together is a priority. Um, I head back to my room where I guess the only other player who's been, or the only other character who's been there is uh, Avira. Um, casually. <laughs> um, and, and get to work sort of like with, 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 you know, like strong thread, you know, like surgical thread and, and my teeth and a needle, you know? Oh, sorry. Badass. <laughs> Avira. Back together. Avira, is this something that you, do you like to go to Morgan's room after you've had one of these blackout spells? Um, I don't go in anymore, but I go very close. I didn't know I was, like, there was something about her energy or whatever that was drawing me in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, and uh, I didn't know it was her. And, like, I'm not an asshole, and I respect people's space because I have a huge bubble. Mm -hmm. So I accidentally popped in. That was, I think we talked about that in character creation, right? And that was when I first saw... Uh, that. I, I I imagine if you're close by and yeah. like, it would take me time to get there and you time to get there, so I think we'd probably be around. Um, if you're close by, you can probably hear me like like going like, ah, oh, you know, yeah. like as I sort of stitch it back up. So like, there's just pained noises like coming through the thin wall, you know, wherever you are. Yeah. Is this something so you find curious? I think it's. To me, what I perceived it as more of like there, it's you know, because she's a ghoul, so we're both some kind of darker creature, and there's this sort of magical energy that just like as a ghost I have picked up on because I accidentally went into the space, and so now I can sense it a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, neither of us has a heartbeat for yeah. one. So when I get close by, it probably makes me feel a little bit better when I'm having a bad time because at least it's like, well, there's somewhere, some thing that is not i'm not alone yeah it's, it's emo, doing, right so it's, it's right it's doing, this is i'm like i'm like got my cheek on the wall and you know i'm like and you know what's really what's really fantastic is you don't have flesh for me to eat right so. yeah so there's this affinity there are you are you then just used to morgan making like extremely pain noises is yeah this... it doesn't bother me because i know what she's doing because okay. i saw it like i get it and like you know, that I also recognized, probably, I think we we said I recognized a finger or two. Yeah. And, and I don't really care because obviously I can make, you know, I'm cool, I'm here. But yeah, no, she just does that. It doesn't bug me, it's just... All right, so I imagine, I imagine I sort of stitch myself up and then look for, like, what I'm going to wear to this party, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, everybody's going and I want to go. So I just I just do the 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 super typical, like... I can finally dress like a, like without restriction. So it's just like, it's still black on black, so to speak. Um, but it's not long sleeved black on black. Um, so there's just like, you can see sort of like the joins and like all the, the, the like stitching around her arms and like her, on her fingers and like across her hand on some places. Um, sort of like, and, and there's even like it, you see like from the top of her like shoulder sort of down across like to under her arm you know like she's just got a lot of pieces um and it looks like it could be fake you know like really well make uh like blood especially on this new one blood sort of like around it and so forth um and and once that's done i sort of leave my apartment and, and like head towards evan's house right like that's where we're headed to. And I mean, maybe I run into you, Avira, if you're nearby, right? You're muted. You're muted, Steph. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I'm probably, I left art class. I don't have a lot of things, just in general. I leave most of my stuff at school. So I, I just plan on, you know, walking and yeah, we can. So you're in. just, true to your word, not dressed up at all. Yeah. I have no. <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah. I have no interest. Like I, I'm definitely like hoodie on, yeah. like zipped up all the way. Like 
all black too. Like slightly too big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't tell whether or not I have a feminine body underneath. Like I may look pretty because you ha can see my head because we have to according to Chad, you know, or whatever. But nobody can tell what's going on under here at all. Like yeah. my clothes are not tight. You know, I may look appear to be a shorter person, but other than that, like. I'm just down. And, and uh, I guess we probably like, meet up at the bus stop or something. Yeah, because, totally. Like, yeah. Bus, you know, like, like, it doesn't look weird that we've sort of met up together, but we're in the same place and the same yeah. bus. And yeah. I'm sort of and, standing standing there with my special effects makeup. Right. You know, like, it's one of those like safety and numbers things. Like we may not talk much of this bus ride, but we'll probably sit on the same side of the bus. Yeah, yeah. We, we, weird I mean, person, it's know? one of those things where it's like, you know weird weird knows weird like game yeah. game recognize game you know yeah, yeah totally um situations and we just kind of sit together and you know it's the like how you been yeah. that, that looks really good you know yeah. like how soft compliments like Mom yeah like momentarily sort of a tiny bit of self-conscious like yeah i guess it does yeah. <laughs> so in the back of this bus is the one and only Robin, who may or may not be able to. I'm here. Okay, it's great. A, uh, Robin, what what is Robin's interpretation of cool and sexy? Like, what is what did she settle on? Um, I think that she has like um, like a cocktail dress, like that her like mom like got her for like some party that she was hosting or whatever that she um like she didn't even get to wear it to that party and like she got sick and so it's a little bit too old for her like it, it make it like and you can tell like it looks um um it definitely gives off the vibe that she's trying too hard. Do you have like the and, little bit too much blush, a little bit too much eyeshadow? Yeah, and like really poorly drawn on cat whiskers. And Love like, um, uh, like, like, like paper cat ears that she like like a uh, last minute like stapled to like a headband that she already had are you wearing heels that you have never practiced walking in um no because i think that she wears heels on a fairly regular basis okay okay so like she doesn't have a pair of heels that she hasn't worn but she's definitely wearing heels uh, maybe she wears them less often but that's only because they're like super strappy and like there's school dress code that's against that. Yeah, we we know the shoes, Chad. We know. <laughs> so um, Avira and Morgan get on and they're like casual slash like super dark mode, and you're like, like I picture her dress is probably like dark blue and like has like a. Uh, what like the the drop back in the back where like it goes down to your butt, mm -hmm. you know, with like that like, yeah, yeah, yeah totally like that. We well, know I can picture picture that exactly. Uh, Stacy is also on this bus. She dresses Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Nice. Um, and I think I think Vivica and Co are also on this bus. Damn, we Not hit the we hit the, bus, we hit the <laughs> bus jackpot. <laughs> Yeah. That's why you and I are sitting next to each other. I mean, yeah, everybody weird. is weird. literally going to the same place. Yeah. Um, the, actually, the no. Lol, JK, Vivica and the co have a car. They're not on this bus. Um, I want a face oh, update. Right. Need that face update on Vivica. Yeah, you'll get it at the party. I think Avery, <laughs> Avery is on the bus. Uh, she's dressed as Robin Hood. Um, and Chad and them also have a car. Does she have the hat? Oh my god, that hat. Oh. Yeah, she's got the little the little hat perched on her hair and like the tunic and leggings and boots and she's like reading a book on the way to the party. Nice. Um and so yeah, you guys are all on this bus. Everybody's well mostly everybody's dressed up. Um I think the bus makes another stop and picks up Troy. Troy is dressed as Gomez from the Adams family. 
Sweet. He's got like this drawn on like pencil mustache. It's kind of crooked. And his suit's a little bit too big and has these like awkward shoulder pads on it. Um, great. He gets on and he, uh, he moves towards where uh, Robin is seated and he sits down next to you and he's like, ah, uh, good costume. What, what are you? Um, I'm a, the cat thing, right? See, it seems, seem, I have whiskers. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I totally see that now. Um, cool. What, what, what are you? I. Go, Gomez. From. I don't look. I I mean, it's a pretty old mo- movie from the '90s, Adam's Family. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> oh my heart! Uh, I don't like movies from the '90s. <sighs> That's so uh, old. I thought it was pretty niche, but like, <laughs> he shrugs. Oh uh, well, you, you look good. I guess. Thanks. I. Sorry, I didn't get your costume. I mean, probably nobody is. This is a dumb idea. I should have just been a vampire. Seeking of vampires, I think at this time, Cassia, <laughs> you you ascend onto the bus. Oh, I taken the bus. Do you do you have a car? Do you I mean, turn into a bat? Like, do you have alternate arrangements? I, I assume I have a car because. I have the wealth and knowledge of 400 years. That's fair. Okay. Okay. So maybe we just get to the party then. Get to the party, yeah. yeah. And, like, you guys are coming in, like, this mob of people who obviously can't drive. Uh, Chad, like, pulls up in his, like, jalopy car that he's unreasonably proud of uh, because it's his. And he's dressed as Superman. Uh, Brian is Batman. And Max is Spider Man. <laughs> and they're wearing the ones with like the padded muscles. God, so they're just like really oversized because they're already fairly muscular football players. And like Max is like a center. So he's got like awkward like foam pectorals on his like massive body. It's. What were they dressed as? I was totally. They're dressed as superheroes Superman, That's Batman, Spider Man. So, like, Max is, like, this really big guy in spandex with, like, foam muscles. Awesome. It's, he looks really awkward. But the other two, like, look pretty okay. Uh, Vivica, Lexi, and Tiffany roll up in, like, like a sports car. Um, they're dressed as Charlie's Angels with, like, the very 60s hairdo. That style. Uh, like, matching outfits. And they get out and, like, kind of un- unconsciously, consciously pose for a second. Um, and when and Danica or Danica, holy shit, Cassia, when you arrive, like what what does that look like? So I I have like a nice car, but not flashy. Once again, like trying to figure out how humans work, but not. It comes off as like having like a regular adult's car. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> like a Beamer or something like that. Like like nice, but not like a Ferrari. Right. Yeah, sensible. And um, it's like it's like what you would consider like your dad's car. Like at this point in time. Yeah. So it's yeah. like you know I I researched it on the human internet and was like oh this is a good car but it's not like you know five hundred thousand dollars so I should get this this is a car that humans drive <laughs> blending in. Um, so I, I roll up in my car and door flies open and immediately just like piles of skirts and petticoats come out. I decided to wear, you know, like an authentic dress, like ballroom gown from- Oh you know, yeah, you were tryharding like a motherfucker. Yeah, the late <laughs> or something like that. And you know, it's like this beautiful like filigree masquerade mask, just like way overdressed for this party. But it's what I had you know, access to. So I'm like, oh, this is... It's like, like literally <laughs> your costume from like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, it's like oh, authentic. I went to a couple hundred years ago and I'm like, oh, I can wear this again. That's You're fine. like, this is this uh-huh. is a masquerade, right? I got my masquerade clothes right here. Here we go. I'm, I'm picturing you have like this huge closet that just has like 
hundred years worth of wardrobe. Yeah, like, like my favorite dresses from like every decade sort of thing. Uh -huh. So yeah, like thousands or hundreds of years worth of like fashion history in my closet. So so we get the we get this visual of like the scrub tier people walking up to the party and then like the knucklehead football players get out and then Vivica and and Lexi and Tiffany are usually the last ones to get to a party and they're the best dress. And then you like pull up and like your dress is so big, you just overshadow them literally. You're like, <laughs> like, and you don't even Excuse notice me. them. You don't even notice them. You're just like, oh, I'm going to a party and this is what I wear to parties. And they're just like, oh my God. Like, <sighs> I, I, I literally can't. I can't. I can't with her. I cannot. <laughs> Vivica's beside herself yeah. with her, like, awkward, like, big gauze bandage, bandage on her face. And Troy, like, steps in your way, and he's like, oh, uh, Cassia, you, you made it. That's a great costume. Uh, Thanks. I just, you know, this whole thing, just had it laid around. Uh, it, was, it was my grandmother's. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not mine. It's my grandma's. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you... Uh, I mean, I know you just got here, but, like, I could go get you a drink? Uh... Wait, can, can vampires drink things that aren't blood? No? Uh, usually, like, aren't vampires always drinking wine? Isn't that, like, a thing? I thought it was, like, blood in a wine glass. Yeah. Um, it all depends. It all depends. It depends Mythos on theory. you. Yeah. I don't know. Can you? I think you? I'm going like, like, to deflect. I'm going to say that Cassia only consumes blood. Okay. So, oh, oh, I don't, I don't drink actually. Oh, I mean, I mean, I can, I can get you like a Sprite or something. Water? Uh, yeah, yeah, water sounds great. Okay, okay. He like wilts in relief. I'll, I'll get you a water. I'll be right back. And he like shoulders through a party in the way that you have to do when there's too many people in the room. Everyone's and, gonna have to make way for me in my dress. Yeah, like you have this like enormous <laughs> bubble of space because people don't even know what the fuck to do with all of that. <laughs> And behind you, someone clears her throat. And by someone, I mean Vivica, obviously. I was hoping it'd be Robin. And here we, we want to take a break before we do that, Tris. Uh, oh, yeah, let's, let's uh, you turn around and she's standing there. And, she's, and she says, we need to go outside because I've had it with you. We're going to fucking fight. And let's let's take our second break. <laughs> oh, <okay>. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking had it with your shit. All right, we'll we'll be back. <laughs> like how dare she have the best dress? Oh my god. No, the fuck you didn't. Um, team. Bye, bye everyone. <laughs> team. Before we go, team, if you're in the chat and you are at all amused by this game, you should totally check out the Kickstarter. Yes. Good job, good job. The second edition of Monster Hearts launched on Kickstarter today. I backed that shit immediately. You should consider. They have already made their goal. Same. They but have. That doesn't mean we shouldn't help them. Obviously, we love this shit. Yeah, there's some really um, interesting settings that deal with identity in different ways that are stretch goals. So you should definitely help yeah. that shit out. Because, like, I fucking love this game. Um, but we're going to go and break. Somebody link that in the chat so that you guys can check it out. Good job. And we will be back soon. Thanks for stopping by.